Hey, YouTube. Well, I just got the news about Ty Couture. I, uh, sad to say somebody lose their life like that. What I know of Ty, he did, he covered the same things that most people in this sector covers. He never got into the mess, though. I never saw him in a beef or anything like that. So I don't know how sociable he was with other YouTubers. But he, uh, he certainly covered all the housewives and did a lot of reviews things. Then about eight months ago, he disappeared. So I looked at his channel, and eight months ago, he stopped making videos again. He stopped periodically. And the last one he made was three months ago, which I think was some kind of, uh, what do you call those things? Challenge things, questions and answers. Anyway, so Ty, the whole time that I was aware of him, for the couple of years that I watched him, uh, I know their relationships were a big deal with him. But one of the things I remember him even more, more than how much he talked about relationships and how important it was to him. He was in a very long-term relationship, and I believe they were married. They did the show together, and then they broke up after, I think, nine years. And then he got with another guy. And they seemed to be happy, you know, but the guy was from Atlanta, I believe. And so the day broke up. But Ty had a very hard time with these relationships, with being alone, right? I don't know what the situation was or what triggered him, but all the two years that I was aware of him, he always talked about this issue that he had, suicidal ideation. Now, that's an unusual thing for a person to, to talk about. And he talked about it a lot. So apparently there were attempts before this but he said he's always suffered from suicidal ideation. And uh, so I guess this time he made it happen. Such a shame, he's a very extremely talented guy. I mean, if, you, if you look at his page, and his page is still up on YouTube, he was an extremely talented person. Even the way he, he uh, stylized, styled his channel. But he was a, an accomplished hairdresser who had his own business he seemed to have all the things that, you know, young gay people aspire to. He had his own business. What town were they in? I forget what city he's from, but he had a beautiful salon there. I think it was that's where the name Ty Couture came from. But it was beautiful. And then he fell in love with this guy and just get sold or gave everything away and moved to Atlanta. Uh, apparently things didn't work out in in Atlanta. I'm trying to remember all the things that I remember when, when he was still active on YouTube. And he accumulated things there. And then he suddenly decided to sell everything there and go back to the place where he came from. So he was a little unstable. But he was, uh, as far as I can tell, he was very successful whenever he could wherever he landed. And he had a successful YouTube channel. He had a following. So it's, it's really sad his brother has lost his life. We don't know the details. I just saw other people talking about it, him. He, he was also an, a talented designer. I mean, his apartments were always beautiful. His house was beautiful. And uh, it's just amazing. And he was a very talented hairdresser. And I think he designed some kind of clothing as well. He had a clothing line. So all that, I guess, means nothing if you, if you are, are prone to, to want to, to end it. And that's something he said he struggled with his whole life. So this guy was in his early, look like about early 30s. Condolences to his family. Uh, I'm sad. It's been one thing that scares me more than anything else as far as relationships go. One thing that would end any chance of a relationship was if the person said they struggle with suicidal ideation. It just seems so scary to me that if you got into uh, a bad situation, this person could kill themselves. It just seemed to be too much to, for me to understand. But um, he talked about it. It wasn't a secret. He talked about it a lot. I assume he had a therapist because he's... He was very self-aware. 
Plastic guys, it's, it's a loss. Sometimes you don't think about people until, of course, something happens. But he was a regular, regular YouTuber. He, was, he had a regular show. He covered a lot of things. He did a lot of things with, uh, what was that? Uh, some of these web shows on YouTube. He, he had relationships with these people. He seemed to have a couple of good relationships. One very long term and then another one didn't last as long, but they, they seemed to work for him. But I guess when he, these relationships end, he gets very, very, very depressed. And uh, so this has happened. Sad. Notices to you, family, fans of his. I know he did have a, a big following here on YouTube. Uh, you guys know what his situation was. He talked about it a lot. And now it's come to a head. To an end. So anyway, Ty Couture has passed away. Uh, by suicide I'm sure suicide hotlines are posted all over the internet you can always get help people be grateful it's not you that you don't struggle in that way later people